All right, Fly Ray Mechanic here. Just want to do a quick video on what you should do if your drive light is flashing or the D light is flashing. Um, like right there, the D on this Honda. When I brought it in, it was flashing. Um, since then, I actually cleared it because I wanted to see if the code was going to come back. And it did, but right now it is not flashing. But if you have a drive light that is flashing on your Honda, basically what that means is you have a transmission issue. And in order to find out what that problem is, you will need a scan tool. Um, in this instance, this one set a check engine light and the drive light was flashing at the same time, which will usually will happen. The check engine light will come on and the drive light will flash. So um, what I did here is I just hooked my little code reader up to it. This is um, just a cheap little inexpensive quick way to check codes on Hondas and stuff. And uh, oh, let's see here, get it plugged up right. All right, so I'm just gonna read it. And it says we got a P0847. Um, so you can just you can just Google that. Uh, I'll leave a link below where you can get this little handheld school, little handheld scan tool, super handy, super quick, easy, and efficient just to uh, quickly read and erase diagnostic trouble codes. Perfect for uh, D DIYer. So yeah, I'll leave the link to this in the video description below where you can buy it on Amazon. Um, well, let's go ahead and um, I've already looked this code up, and what that is is a uh, transmission third clutch pressure switch. And basically all that is on this one is luckily is an external pressure switch when it's in uh, third gear it measures pressure and I actually pull up a diagram on this Honda of where that pressure switch is. It's just a single wire it's on the front of the transmission and it just screws in with a washer so fairly relatively easy to test fairly relatively easy to replace so all I'm gonna do is pull this thing out I'm gonna check it uh, basically with this code it's saying um, that the switch is actually stuck on when it should be off so I can take it out and if this thing t test as though it's stuck on if I have continuity between ground and that one terminal connector then that means the sensor is bad um, and I actually actually already went ahead and did that and it was so we're gonna pop a new sensor in this pretty easy fix but pretty much this video was to tell you what you should um, what that flashing drive light means if you do come across that in your Honda uh, basically you'll have to get a scan and it means you have a transmission fault of some sort in this case It was just a pressure switch. We're going to go ahead and replace it and uh, this one should be fixed Thanks for watching guys flat Ray mechanic Be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel if this was helpful till next time